Hi folks, welcome to the video, Hardly Gaming, and today we're going to be looking at an updated version of my solo PvE build, Goliath. Without further ado, let's just pop into the build. Okay guys, so here we are. I am running the Tactician skill tree here, which gives me extra skill damage, but also most importantly gives me an extra skill point. My primary weapon is going to be Baker's Dozen, because the perfect lucky shot is a really nice ability to have out in the real world. Magazine capacity is increased by 30%, Best shots from cover have a 100% chance to return to magazine. Just means, means sure, make sure that I keep my ammo uh, to a nice level. My secondary weapon is going to be Sweet Dreams as usual. Mainly for the Sandman talent here. Melee attacks inst instantly kill non-elite enemies. Really hard, they saved my life so many times. And my side armor is going to be in Mozambique special, just because I had a really nice really rolled one here. The perfect bread basket and because my mask gives me extra pistol damage, so I wanted to give it a go. For the items that I'm using, I have one piece of punch drunk here, which gives me that plus 20% pistol damage, a really nice boost to my DPS here. Remembering that headshot damage, is, and I'm going to use the word, multiplicative. And we've got a road for skill damage here as well. My backpack, I'm using an Alps Summit armament, but one piece of here, which gives me plus 15% repair skills. I rolled with explosive resistance, which is always handy. I put on repair skills maxed out and a really highly rolled repair skills mod as well. And this backpack talent is Companion. Whilst you are within 5 meters of an ally or skill, total weapon damage is increased by 15%. This is very easy to keep with your skills. A chest piece, I'm using uh, Overlord Armaments. I have two pieces of these, which gives me plus 10% rifle damage and plus 10% accuracy. Again, really nice for a rifle build. I've also got plus 50% weapon damage, critical hit damage, skill damage, and headshot damage mod. The talent on this is Kinetic Momentum. When in combat, each skill generates a stack whilst active or not on cooldown. Stacks increase your total skill damage by 1% and total skill repair by 2%, up to 15 stacks per level lost when on cooldown. This is really nice for this build, because it affects both your output damage and your repair skills. I have two pieces of Murakami, which gives me plus 20% skill duration, which is really handy for the turret, and plus 50% repair skills, and again rolled max repair skills with skill haste. I have a set of Murakami, again rolled for repair skills and skill damage. My knee pads here, I'm using the Fox's Prayer, which is my second set of overlords, and that gives me a really nice damage buff to this build. If you really wanted to, you could probably roll that for skill damage, but I wouldn't. The two skills I'm using are the Restorer Hive. 221,000 heals is more than enough for a solo player. And my secondary skill is going to be the Assault Turret. Now remembering, the longer you're in combat, the better both of these get because of your kinetic momentum. Okay, so we're here in the firing range and I'm just going to show you guys how to use it. First off, you have to damage yourself. That's when you class this in combat and you get the procs. I'm going to set this up to elite. You see my two stacks there are almost at max. And then what you do is you put your turret down. As long as warriors are down, you get the buff. Now, Now you see how there when I took this turret away, I lost one of my stacks. As long as you're in combat, it will automatically come back straight away. Oh, it's on stop. It needs to be off cooldown, sorry. There you go. So that's you got the second one now. As you saw there. Now I know there are people with rifle builds doing four times that much damage, I'll laugh. But remember this is a solo PvE build that relies quite heavily on skills. So this is what we run through of the build. Technician here, Baker's Dozen, Sweet Dreams, Rose Big Special, Punch Junk, One Piece Alps, One Piece, uh, sorry, Two Piece Overlord, Two Piece Murakami, and you're using Fox's Prey as well. Two skills of Restore the Hive, and your Assault Turret. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. There are several videos I've posted of me running this build doing solo heroics. So it's well uh, well practiced, it's well used. Um, I'd recommend giving it a go. 
And if you do, please let me know. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.